What's up, Cloud Resins? And this is Dark Cloud here, and I'm and I'm going to bring you a new thing on the channel right now. I'm going to be calling this Free Fridays, and this is a series where I will be doing a little bit more random content, and uh, I'll be doing reactions, um, kind of tutorials, just kind of anything I think of like at the time. Maybe I'll maybe I'll throw in like some Smash Bros or just some random other game that I just want to play for a little while. So uh, for today though, we are going to be reacting to uh, Zero, the Smash, uh, the Smash King of Smash Four on the Wii U essentially, and. Uh, in this video, he took a sidestep and started to do a Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. So we're gonna be checking that out today. So I think we should just go ahead and get right into it. Let's check it out. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys have watched plenty of Pokemon Nuzlocke, but this one is going to have a couple different twists than most of them. As the standard Pokemon Nuzlocke rules, Every Pokemon must be nicknamed. You can only right. catch one Pokemon per area, and any right. Pokemon that has its HP reach zero is forever gone. However, I am. Okay, so he's got the basic rules down. So that's pretty good. He seems to have a decent understanding of what uh, the community typically is. So let's keep going. Let's see what this twist is he's talking about. Going to be adding a couple more limitations to make this even more tense. First of all, I cannot use any items during battle whatsoever. Ooh, okay, Second, there okay. is no grinding allowed in this run. I can only oh. fight what's in the way, for example, such as wild battles or trainers, but I cannot grind. And that okay. means no over leveling okay. over the gym leaders or any other type of challenges. I will have to rely more on strategy rather than just net and experience. Furthermore. Okay, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna let it keep playing. Or I can only use a Pokemon Center once per town or any type of full heal system that I get anywhere, I can only use it once. So I have to be very strategic when I heal and how I use it. Lastly, any Pokemon that does faint in my party, I will have the IRL Ooh. penalty of having to buy merchandise from that okay. Pokemon. Uh, pause. And I'm back, guys. Pokemon. Nonetheless, it is going to be a very tense run. As an added bonus, I'm also going to be starting with Chikorita. Anyway, let's do Okay, so what he's essentially doing is doing something similar to um, a Shady Lock. And if you guys don't know that, it comes from um, Shady Penguin. He basically made his own lock type, and it's very similar to this where... You can only use like healing uh, places like once without using um, a token. Uh, we won't get into that, but that's matter. And uh, the no grinding allowed. That that's a big deal. Also, no items in battle. He is going to have his work really cut out for him. And then, like he said, and clearly knows, um, Chikorita is one of the worst starters in all of Pokemon. And not for any particular reason, um, cause it's, hmm, hang on, let me not offend the Chikorita fans that are out there. It gets a fairly good level up move set, but it, it's basically a stall mon, and most people don't play with that. But then you have to deal with the first and second gym, which are flying and bug. Not great for Chikorita. So let's check out what, oh, forgot, the merch thing. Imagine if every PokeTuber bought merch. Every time something died, they would be drowning in plushies. But let's see how many he gets to have in this one. Do this. Why, you thought we were going to read the dialogue? You've played this game 20 times already. Every one of you guys is thinking, that is true. man, pick Totodile. out. He's the coolest. Or or go with anyone else. But no, we're going to go with Chikorita. Not only does... Don't act like you don't know the name of the third one. The third one is called Cyndaquil, and Cyndaquil is fantastic. Not, mm, I, I think I still like Totodile better, but I definitely chose Cyndaquil on my first run through Pokemon Silver, so don't forget Cyndaquil. Does he lose to the first gym, which is flying type? But, but he, he knows also it. gets bodied by the second gym, which is bug. He We're knows gonna it. Name him he knows Beam. it too. Perfect. That's... All right. Okay. Um, so we got this Bean Chikorita face over here. That's disturbing, and will stay in my nightmares. All right, Bean, it is time to go and conquer the world of Pokemon. Oh, goodness gracious. Even the first Pokemon has an advantage over my Bean. I mean, you could say that about every single Pokemon game. Oh, already a critical hit. We didn't even get hit. Oh, we're being that efficient with HP already. Oh, Bean, I love you already, Bean. I'm going to be real sad when you die, Bean. 
Oh my gosh. We're going to have to be very careful because if we take too much damage, I cannot use the Pokemon Center. We're probably going to have to use Pokemon Center after the first rival fight. He's going to really he's going to have really cut out for him. Uh that no grinding rule is really going to be trouble for him. Uh Oh no, he started to attack. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. I mean, yeah, he's fighting the highest level thing that could oh, possibly be there no. right oh, now. Oh, come on. Okay, that was at least a low roll. Let's go, Bean. Let's go. We're also going to have to start using berries very early on, simply because berries are going to allow me to heal during a battle without okay. actually accessing my menu. It's going to be like one of the very few ways we're going to be able to use like strategy because we're not going to be able to use potions, no X items, no status heal or anything like that. So it's going to be the one way where we can like prepare for like a like a difficult battle or some fun fact he also picked up an apricorn just then instead of a berry because i don't know how many of the trees give berries rather than apricorns so he really does have his work cut out for him trying to do it like that gimmick or something oh no not metapod metapod don't get hard oh god damn it. does razor leaf even do okay we have to actually be careful of tackle because we're, we're right out of pp from tackle let's start using razor razor leaf Oh my god, Bean, why you miss every attack? I mean, Razor Leaf's resistant, so it's gonna do nothing. <laughs> that did a pixel of damage. Okay, we're gonna have to actually escape from Metapod. I actually don't think we can kill him. <laughs> that yeah. feels so dirty. I had to run away from a Metapod, Bean! What are you doing? Oh, that's gonna be very helpful. You know, po things like poison, sleep, confused. Oh my goodness, they're all gonna be lethal. He's lucky he's not playing a slightly earlier generation or else poison is definitely the most lethal especially if you can't go to a pokemon center oh my god they actually heal me that is so good now we need to retain this health so we can beat the rival level seven will be very helpful to not die i'm already wondering what he's gonna name his rival i feel like it's gonna be just something very hilarious but something to do with one of his rivals i assume Oh, Bean, you can't... You, you, no! Oh, my God. Oh, dude, that the one damage is bad. All right, Bean, I need you to get a good level up. You know what? Two defense is pretty good. Get ready for the first rival fight. You can die. <laughs> oh, the music, man. Best rival song, dude. Let's go with one growl. Oh! Don't you guys miss whenever your rival actually tried against you and chose the super effective one? I miss those days. What I got here, miss. All right. Oh my God, he's still faster. Okay, he's only doing two damage. All right, we win. That's that's fine. Okay. Don't, no. Oh, you have Leer. I'm pretty sure both of the miners one negate each other. Pretty sure. But I definitely don't want him to Leer again. Oh my God, don't miss. Okay. That 95% accuracy. Am I right though? Okay. Oh, what a crit! Oh, Bean! You're doing okay for someone weak. Yeah, get crit. I swear to God, don't crit. Oh, <laughs> don't miss. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That was way too active for first rival fight. Bean, you really have me there. Okay, All what's right, your name? Now we need to definitely Wait, grab this berry name, right here. Oh, no, you yeah, let's try to make later. it down without dying. I'm pretty sure he grabbed an apricorn right there, but, you know, we're just going to let him do his thing although i do want the one level you know honestly out of all people i could name the rival honestly it's just left -hand. <laughs> that's a great name uh left hand's obviously uh he's kind of a rival slash friend that he's had he's had over the years um but i think left was more of a uh super smash bros melee guy than ultimate but i know he's he definitely has gotten into the scene uh, in the last few years so of 10 D Pokeballs. How many balls was that? Five Pokeballs? Man, you're stingy. Oh, come on, really? The first He'd have more fun in X and Y whenever you just casually give you like 10, 20 Pokeballs right at the start. First Pokemon we get to catch is Rattata. All right, whatever. I'm scared. I don't know if I want to catch this. Oh my God. Oh, you. He knows the memes. He knows the memes. Top percentage Rattata. Dude, I might die. I might die from right of that. Oh, I swear to God. Dude, I think I need to run. I, I think I might die. If he does tackle again, I think... All right, one more tackle. All right, we're out of here. We're definitely out of here. No, three tail whips, we're dying. 
All right, you know what? I think we could probably spare one potion. I also need to use a potion here because we're not going to be able to use the, uh, the Pokemon Center. I'm getting the ball. Nice. First try? I I, didn't he... He said no uh, items in battle. He must mean only trainer battles. He can't use items. That's an interesting distinction you, you really need to make there. I dig it. What name do we give Ratata? Fantastic. Do I use a potion? We're going to have to use a potion. Yep. We're going to have to. So genetically use this potion. Alright. Man, you already know if we're relying on Radata for anything, this could be a hard run. <laughs> Man, if we got a Pidgey, that would have been so nice. Because Pidgey will be able to compete with the other Pidgeys at the gym. But also it will help for the second gym. I like how it's top 1% Radata rather than top 10%. Very clever. Oh my god, top 1% ish is awful defense. Bro, he took six damage from that. Oh, dude, how about to die? Die. It's a rat attack. Oh my god. I, dude, if I got crit, he's just gone. Get some defense, dude. Okay, get two attack. Oh my god, nine defense. Okay, but at least he has some attack and some, some speed. I'm gonna save the Pokemon. Those are two things Check Reader does not have, so you should be very, very thankful for those. Because I'm probably gonna use it before we hit the tower, before we hit the gym. We need to strategize because that's we only get one use in that gym. In terms of potions, these are these are the most helpful right now. I'm gonna buy three for now. Man, this is stressing me out. The economy of Pokemon's gonna matter now. Whenever I play these games, I just mash through the market. Now we're gonna have to think about every little thing here. The first objective though is that we want the Radata to be stronger. At least the Chikorita's level. Okay, what you got here? Do we want the Caterpie? Might as well get the Caterpie <laughs> than not get the Caterpie. I'm gonna call him Morgana because every time I think of a bug, I conveniently also think of Morgana. Now we're fighting a real. I don't know who Morgana is other than uh, it's something from Persona thanks to Smash Bros and Joker being in it. Trainer. Oh boy. There you go. Do the thing. Oh, he went in. Oh, nice. We're going to be able to kill him without taking a single point of damage. Truly, truly exceeding my expectations, actually. I'm stressed. <laughs> I have no idea how we're going to get to level 10 or 11 to at least fight the gym leader, but whatever. We'll figure it out, I guess. Imagine this Radata just becomes the goat of the run, just saves every every gym gym fight. Okay, Route 31. That means we can catch another Pokemon here. This is important. Okay. Give me something good, please. For the level. Okay. Caterpie doesn't count. He knows species and dupes too, so he's clearly like looked into Nuzlocke rules. That's good. I'm glad he did his research. Don't get crit. Okay. Yeah, we'll use quick attack here. We have to risk it here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Actual first fear. I don't know why he didn't oh run from goodness. it, honestly. You got no special. All right, we got two speed, whatever. Focus energy. Yeah, we need Morgana to get some experience now. Oh, you know what? We can catch someone in the cave. Um, oh, let's go! Oh, this is how we can win the gym. That cat was like oh, dying. Oh, no, don't do me like this. Oh, don't do that. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball just in case. We, we might get lucky. Come on. Come Dude, on. It has a very high catch rate. Yes. Oh, let's go. Let's go! Honestly, when I think of Geodude, I think of my dude. Perfect name. I... I don't know why there was a guy just screaming on Geodude. Uh, tell me if you want to. I don't really care that much. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Good. We're farming them potions. Actually, do any of the Pokemon that we're about to fight, do, we, do they even have an answer for Geodude? I don't think any of them do at all. Okay, they definitely don't have anything for Geodude. All right, free experience. Get this level, my king. Get this level. Plus two. I, I just I have to point out there's an area called Bellsprout Tower coming up and I'm pretty sure Bellsprout's a grass type which means grass beats rock and ground attack plus two defense whatever oh, I never been this excited for a level four my dude oh he might be level five actually oh he is never mind Man, that's really good attack and defense at this point in the game. That's amazing. I want to say we can catch a Pokemon here because we haven't gotten a single encounter Ooh. other than the one Carter Caterpie. Pidgey will be very helpful for the Grass Tower coming up. Oh, he knows about it. First try again? That's my bad. People think I'm cheating. Now, here's my trick. Every time the Pokemon the Pokeball rolls, I press left and right on the B button. That's how you get 100% cash rate. I'm going to... That, that That's like every... Uh 
child who first played this when they're like eight or ten and pretty much everyone still does it to this day you can't lie about that uh also i just want to point out i really like how he does that uh sprite switch uh in that upper right hand corner like it's really nice you switch between like st uh, stagnant sprites to the moving sprites to your morgana dying cat sprite whatever i call him canary because he's that good i'm actually almost compelled at taking you to now to the gym all right this is gonna be stressful because if i remember correctly every single one of their pokemon is pretty much grass type oh yep Oh, you already know my Pokemon just dying. <laughs> so long he learns Gust. No, I have to talk about that. That little video was uh from the Indigo League whenever Ash fights a Bell Sprout out of everything, and it's that spell Bell Sprout wrecks everything, and it's hilarious. Then we're gonna be able to free them up. So that's why I'm trying to do this. If we can learn him with Gust, then we can get these two really strong. It'll really help for the second and the first gym. Oh my god. Good level. One defense. Oh, you get sand attack first? No, I did not mean to attack. Oh my god. He's oh, we can two turn him? Don't get crit for the love of god. Okay, even if it crits, it's only gonna do three damage. Alright. Let's go. Definitely need to heal Canary here. No need to heal my dude. So we're gonna keep going. Please learn Gust already. <laughs> when do you get Gust? Oh my god. So the reason I'm not leveling Bean is simply because Bean is going to get destroyed in the gym. And we need the other Pokemon to be strong for this for this gym. X accuracy? Nice. That's an item we can't even use. We can't use any X items. They can only be used in battle. So please get Gust. Please. You're you level 9. It. Come on now. Oh. Bye bye, Bell Sprout. Oh my God, there's a bunch of them, which is why I'm glad that we have Gust. Canary is just such a good pick here. Not only do they do less damage, but we also just destroy them. I will, I will be a fan of using a little bit of top one percentage here, but then again, he might die, especially because they've been creating way too much. I just remember the next guy also has a hood hood, so we probably want to have my dude take him on by himself. Oh, uh, there's the hood hood. Right, let's go back to my dude. Oh god, he has the hypnosis. That's annoying. I don't even have a way to heal that right now. We will have to just hold the L if it does happen. I right, please don't, don't 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 land it. Oh my god. First of all, that always happens. I also uh, just wanted to say that whenever the hood hood came out, I thought he was trying to catch a random hood hood for literally no reason at all. That's all. Oh, nice wake up, dude. What am I, dude? Okay, good. I think I probably want to save that scaper for when we really need it. I kind of want everyone else to get a little bit of experience here because otherwise we're going to have a disproportion with levels. Um, How much damage are we talking here? Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. All right. Oh, Hood Hood. Oh, he's level 10. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, Yeah, all right. Stop spamming hypnosis. I think I just saw his moves. He has rock throw. I don't know why he's not using it. Stop. Stop, dude. He's trolling. Dude, at least Bean is level 9. Oh, poison powder will be really helpful, actually. I think we may have to use the Pokemon Center in the first town. That way we can save the current one for later if we need it. All right, we're using our one Pokemon Center heal in the first town. We can no longer use this Pokemon Center. Nice, no encounters, dude. All right. Oh, dude, no encounters. Perfect. All right, we're going to need a couple potions here. I he think we should it. level up Pokemon in front of me. So, like, I should put, like, top one percentage in Bean and then switch over to my dude. All right. I'm pretty nervous. We have my dude, but I don't know if they have Mud Slap or something dumb. Level nine Sparrow. Oh, boy. Oh, that does that. 
No, he has rock polish. That's my bad. I think Geo Dude gets rock through it. It's next level 11. A lot of damage. I forgot they have moves like Fury Attack and one up. That might do a lot of damage because at least does it does one damage. So it'll at least do like five damage to Geo Dude. Rock yep. throw. Oh, that's so clutch. I didn't even know it will learn that move at level 11. Okay. Um, rock polish gives you speed. Let's just get rid of Mutt's board. Imagine it just comes in with Mutt's left. We missed a couple moves and then we just die. <sighs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. This is how it begins. Pretty sure rock throw has awful accuracy, too. Oh, no, dude. And it only has 15 PP. Oh, no, dude. Oh, this is bad. This is bad, bad. I may use Cannery for the first one and then switch on the Pidgeotto. That might be the strat here. Oh, that's a bad crit, dude. Seriously? All right, we're definitely going to heal my dude. We're definitely going to heal Cannery. And I'm going to use top 1%-ish to throw a Tail Whip. All right, let's do it. Woo! Oh, first gym back. I was going to say before we get into this, uh, I like the strats he's pulling. It, it's really nice stuff. Hello, baby. Oh, my God. Stop sand attacking. Oh, my God. I need I need one to land. Come on. Just one. Just one. Don't crit. Okay, Bliss. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Oh, my God. He's level 30. The wind is fine. Okay. Um, um, I mean, honestly, we just stay. Okay, now we need to use rock throw before we lose. Oh my goodness. Dude, he might kill me, actually. Legit. Oh no, dude. Yes! Yes! Please do damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please do not miss the next rock throw. I swear to god. Oh. You know, I'm really Oh he has roost! Oh. Oh no. Oh please, dude. Dude, this is not good. Um, defense curl. Oh my god, he keeps spamming roost now. I'm getting stressed. I'm getting stressed, and I have a stand attack on me. This is this is not good. This is we might actually game over, bro. Oh my god, rock throw again. Please stop. Okay, we need to just keep attacking with rock throw at this point. I'm already curious if he knows about roost's added effect that like takes away the flying typing for the next turn, but. I'm not sure. Hey, keep going, keep going, keep going. I think Rock Throw might kill him right here. Please stop for the love of... Oh my God, that is the worst single time. For... All right, okay. Let's Rock Throw one more time. And then I'm gonna have to switch after that so we don't die. We're gonna have to sack Morgana. What? That way the Pokemon that comes in doesn't just die. Morgana! Oh, oh god. Mm, why do you have a Roost, you stupid Pidgeotto? It's so broken the ability of, of Roost that makes makes the next attack not be nearly as good. We're gonna have to go top one percentage. And he's gonna have to throw a uh, tail whip. And we're gonna have to get lucky here. Oh my god, I don't like this. I think I think we just die. I think he dies. Yes! At least, all right, we got one off. Dude, I'm going to have to sack him. I don't like this. Just for the one quick attack here. Oh, my God, dude. Good Top play. one percentage. No. Dude, this is so bad. I wonder if he's going to heal. We're literally just using worse Pidgeotto here. Does 12 damage. That does no damage, bro. Oh my god. Okay, he takes any type of damage, he'll go for Gust. This is stressing me out. Oh my god. Gust him again. Oh, what a miss! Oh, what a crit! Switch into my dude, he dies. But if he goes for tackle again, I don't die. But then I'll get out speed anyway. I think my dude is more important. Because he's going to help us in the second and the third gym. He cannot die right now. We must not, oh my God. we must not let him die. I need to gust again and just trust the process. I just want to point out the simple fact of he's going to lose Geodude no matter what because the Pidgeotto is going to outspeed him and he can't use healing items in battle. So there's not a lot he could do. Oh 
This is so bad. Oh my God, dude. I have no idea how we're gonna win, dude. If I growl him, we might be able to not die. He might be able to do like less damage. Oh my God. But poison powder is huge too, because that way we can do damage at least. The only way we can win here, if I poison powder, we lose, even if it connects. Growl will not do enough. I literally need to go for Razor Leaf and just hope. Is this, is this it for Bean? Okay, he survived. Please crit for the love of Christ. Oh, no way! Wow. No way, bro! Oh wow. my God, dude. Hope he misses tackle. Oh my God, dude. And my dude can't outspeed. That's it. Oh my God. Goodness gracious, dude. I should have set up with my dude in the beginning. I should have spammed defense curl. I just didn't want to deal with sand attack. Please miss, please, please, please. No, dude. Oh my God. I, I have to point out right now, I know this is like a really sad moment, but uh, spamming growl or defense curl wouldn't have done anything because that Pidgeotto was using Gust, which is a special attack. So that would not have helped him at all. I cannot believe we gamed over. He had one HP, bro. Oh my God, we're gonna have to buy merch from like five different Pokemon, bro. I mean, you can't be too mad. Look how adorable these plushes are. The, the Geodude one's super funny. Looks like he's like biting his lip. That's hilarious. Uh, so that's gonna be the end of uh, this video. Um, Zero did a great job, honestly, at this Nuzlocke. He clearly has Pokemon experience, which I mean, I already know that he does, but he really showed it well in this Nuzlocke. He, I think he might have stretched himself a little bit thinner. And if he definitely played if a standard Nuzlocke, he would win. But I just think he stretched himself a little too thin with those rules. And he can definitely do it, but it's just going to take a little bit more practice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this free Friday uh, recording video. There we go. That's what it's called. And I will catch you guys next week on Free Friday for whatever's next. But let me know if you guys enjoyed this one. And I might cover Zero's part two where he made it even harder on himself. So I'll catch you guys then. Later.